Well, tonight we are hearing from the Southern California nanny who would not leave a family's home after she was fired. The so-called nightmare nanny claims her former employers are to blame and she is the real victim. Diane Stratton insists she's not a con artist and she's no squatter. They were the ones that were trying to exploit me. But alleges she was mistreated by the Bracamonte family. In an interview with a Los Angeles radio station, Stratton says she wasn't fired, claiming she was exploited and forced to work 90 straight days without time off. When I was working there, I didn't get uh, lunch breaks. I didn't get coffee breaks. I didn't get... Um, any holidays or um, basically I was working 24-7. Stratton's story is a far contrast. The Bracamontes who claim they were victims in their own home because Stratton refused to leave after she was fired last month. The Bracamontes found the nanny through Craigslist in March. They say she was offered room and board in exchange for child care and housework. She just stayed in her room all day and so I told her, you know, either you perform or you, you gotta leave. Bracamonte says she fired the 64-year-old who then allegedly threatened to sue the couple. An initial attempt to evict the nanny failed due to improper paperwork. But last Wednesday, Stratton was served with new legal papers asking her to leave the home. Stratton is now living in her car, but her belongings remain in the house. The nanny insists she's not at fault. I bought a substantial amount of my own food, and the food that I did get was terrible. I didn't have access to the laundry room hardly ever. I didn't have access to the bathroom hardly ever. I think they're the con artists. Stratton says she will have her belongings out of the house by Friday. The Bracamonte say they recently discovered that Stratton is on a California list of people who abuse the court system with frivolous lawsuits.